Gavin Hunt faces a team that uh, Chippy United haven't beaten in the last 11 matches in a row. As we bring you this afternoon in the DSTV Premiership, round number four of action this season. Chippy United hosting Orlando Pirates. Yes, Orlando Pirates, 11 victories in a row. And the last time that Chippy United lost, uh, or Chippy United beat Orlando Pirates was on the 11th of May 2016. Along with the uh, tribulations of the statistics, Chippy United's coach uh, Gavin Hunt also faces a side that poached a number of the Fitvest Vitz players when uh, Vitz was sold. A couple of players joining the team rather late now. Onside here, and space in the area, and it's gone in for Chippy United. Sticking to their guns and ploughing through the Orlando Pirates defence. May the celebration start. Bad defending from Orlando Pirates. Watch this. Happy Chele. No offside at all because he was playing him. But the balance that he shows, the class that he's got, it's a combination with Sikotong. And he protects the ball, well, doesn't lose his balance. He gets the shot on target. The captain played him on. He wasn't offside, but he didn't lose his balance. He tapped that ball in, but he done the spade work. That's him combining with Sikotong. Chippy United on the hunt once again. Shot from distance and... Uh, Rather delayed save from Mponchani, but an important one in any event. Problems, problems for Pirates at the back. Yes, it's a good save in the end by Mponchani. Sako and Cavella, another little delightful pass through the middle and took his eyes off the ball, Tekafazzo. And they've got it back here with the Dlamini. Oh, tremendous ball, Pule now on the other side of the park and saved by Sandilian Pietro. Now they are responding, now the posture is getting better and better. And this man is instrumental in that, Musele equally is contributing. And when he does that, you can tell that he is gaining confidence fully. Zamini, so a little bit of space in the middle of that area, Pule. Oh, turn from Mbappé! The equaliser comes. 15 minutes after Chippy United went in front, Mbappé grabs his second goal of the season after having scored against the Royal AM. A big opponent against Swallows in the league. Kevin Hunt's not happy. Pirates certainly are. He would call it, call it too soft a goal to concede because they had the numbers, but. The concentration, the sharpness to be able to clear their lines wasn't there because Pirates were just moving freely in that half. You look at that, not the most powerful of shots, right-footed shot from Pune. But if you are as hungry as he is, it's a Fofato Mawa. So with that response, he is not happy. And you can understand why. Now a chance for Zvukumanje. He's really been involved since he came on. But look at Pantili Shandu! Mabasa will score a second, and Pirates are in front. As easy as you like, Mabasa. It's Mabasa, in fact, he followed through from the initial pass. And this is how it happens. They lose possession, and it is Pule. And he combines very well with a good pass there. Look at who gets into that area. And look at who gets into another good area. It's a great team goal. Everyone getting involved. Shandu getting involved and setting it up in the end. A thing of beauty. It's a As Bukamanjo once again. Oh, lovely ball through the middle. Mosele! Surely that seals the deal for Pirates. The second goal of the season after scoring against Stanovosh FC. And a 21-year-old former Moroccan junior international does the business for Orlando Pirates today and scores the highest amount of goals for Pirates this season. Smile, celebrate, because the two goals that they've scored at such beauty, when you give up possession in those sort of areas, they have been punishing those sort of mistakes. It's Zukamanja. Look at the pass. The finish as well. The timing of that pass, the weight to the pass, identifying the space, the decision-making, the technique on the side. 
Yeah, this is someone new, new. Good to celebrate two wonderful team goals that Pirates have scored. Now, Chippy United are chasing a result. At least chasing to stay away from sort of any embarrassment. Dion Hotto, space for Pule. And somehow they got away with it. And uh, Mabazo can't convert either. But uh, ooh, Pirates are on fire. I like it when you say, ooh, they are. Ooh, they are. Yes, they are. You're right, Kevin. Played onto the blind side. Setting a Pule this time around. And they have the ammunition. Good header, wonderful goalkeeping as well by Watenga. Good performance from Orlando Pirates. Goals from Mapasa, Mapasa, and Moselle. McClumby with the early goal for Chipper United. But the points and the credit all go to Orlando Pirates, who win by three goals to one. Coach Kevin, appreciate your time. Thoughts, please. Um, yeah. Um, Scoreline leads 3 1, but I mean, not but unfair. I think, I think we had the best chances. We could have been 3 1 up ourselves. So, yeah, a bit disappointing, but obviously, um, you know, once we had to chase it, we can have a few problems, uh, you know. But in all in all, I thought we had the best chances. We had more than enough chances to win the game. Um, yeah, we've got to defend better, you know. But, uh, but yeah, so, but you've got to defend better in this league. It was your strong point, at least coming into this game, defending better. You were concerned with the final third. This time you were creating, but then defensively maybe lacking. Well, it's an old adage of football, isn't it? It works both ways, you've got, but you've got to defend first, you know. Um, but I think it's two games now where we lost, we should never have lost. But um, it's football. No one cares, you know. We've got to try and pick the pieces up and do it ourselves. But we had more than enough chances to win the game today. More than enough chances. I'm looking at some other players as well. I see as, as sharpness, as fitness improves, they also improve. I'm talking about like Pagamani, then 60 minutes and then fades a bit. Well, he should never be starting Pagamani, you know, with his condition. But I had to start him because we don't really have anybody else. You know, he should have scored the, the second goal. And then even when they scored, he should have just laid Hannah and we score, you know. And then he had the chance in the, on half time to make it 2-1. So, yeah. That's, that's football, but you've got to defend better, which we didn't do, and uh, it's disappointing. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Coach Mandla, appreciate your time. Thoughts, please. Not in the best of stats. Uh, very clumsy uh, from our team. But I understand the processes. We, we, we are a team that is going through some transformation, uh, change in leadership. We can't run away from that. Uh, we're tweaking a few things. Uh, but at the same time, we were struggling with scoring goals. Uh, for a team that considered that early in a match, to come back and score three goals, we could have scored further. Uh, I'm just happy for the effort from the team, the fighting spirit, the teamwork. Uh, though the game was not uh, pleasing in the eye, uh, but it's only the early stages of the season, maybe fifth, fourth game. Uh, you don't expect the team to gel that quickly, especially in our case where the leadership has changed and maybe we're also trying to implement a few things. But the effort from the team, I can't falter that. Performance, not too pleasing. Defensively, let's try and see what we could have done differently in defending that which was uh, Chipper's first goal. We knew how Kevin set up. Uh, we knew he was going to play on the counter. Even the formation of playing Mashambi and Sekotlong, speed players and he was placing them wide uh, in between our centre backs and the full backs and he wanted to go on the break. I thought we just failed to do a simple defensive uh, tactic and we have worked uh, for quite some time on a rest defence of our team uh, but we were caught in the same place. We can do better in that regard but the, the fighting back, uh, we didn't drop our heads, we kept on pushing. Uh, I'm just happy that at least there's progress and we know what is our, our, our deficiencies that we have to work on. I've talked to Ntutu already about the way his goal came about, the, 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 the Pirates goal uh, that came from winning position until scoring. But I want to talk to you about Ukutman Musele then, because he's also one of those midfielders who makes entry into the box and f scores. 
Our number sixes or number six and number eight have got a very critical role to play, especially when you play against a team that wants to play on a counter. They are very key in our rest defense. But again, if the team peels from the pack or we counter press, one of them has to jump and join the attack. And they do that very well. They complement each other very well. And for Mosele, somebody who just came from another club, he's getting there. I just want us to improve a bit of possession, a bit of uh, uh, pirates uh, imposing their game. I don't think we did that part well today but it's work in progress i'm just appreciating that we got the three points with all the performance that